This video explains the three fundamental concepts you must master to unlock your trading potential. These aren't just shortcuts, they are timeless principles and mindset shifts that will guide you towards consistent profits. First comes the Tilt Meter Challenge because it builds the foundation for your trading success and it helps you build the mental toughness you need as a successful trader. Even the best system in the wrong hands won't deliver consistent results. Why? Because without discipline and patience, even the most well-designed strategy can fall apart. That's where the Tilt Meter Challenge comes in. When you are in your journal tab in your Edgewong Trading Journal, you will find a dedicated column called Tilt Meter. And the Tilt Meter is a visual representation of how well you are able to follow your trading rules. A red Tilt Meter shows that you have broken your trading rules and a green Tilt Meter shows that you stuck to your trading rules. Let's open a trade and when you go to the advanced trade data, you can see that you can rate your entry, your exit and your trade management. You can assign comments to each part of your trade. Each positive action will make the tilt meter grow a little bit more green and each negative comment will make the tilt meter grow into the red direction. The goal with the tilt meter challenge is to keep your tilt meter green at all times. So when you're about to take a trade, ask yourself, how will this impact my tilt meter? This will help you to correct your trading behavior while you're about to take a trade or manage a trade. By always asking yourself, how will this affect my tilt meter? You will be able to execute your trades in a much better and more positive way. Over time, this will help you to improve your patience and your discipline and will help you also improve your bottom line when you're able to execute your trades better. When we are now in our equity graph, by default, you will see the return of your overall trading account and your trading performance. Now let's open the options dropdown and here you can also display your tilt meter right onto your trading graph. In the background we now see the tilt meter, in the foreground we see your equity graph. Often you will be able to see interesting correlations between your tilt meter and your equity. Here for example the tilt meter has been rising steadily which shows that the trader has repeatedly executed his trades according to the plan and didn't break his trading rules. This coincided with the rise of the equity graph as well. So by making good trading decisions, the trader also realized profits. The tilt meter declined here afterwards and also the equity moved sideways. This shows a period where the trader didn't perform at his best and he repeatedly broke his trading rules, which led to the decline of the tilt meter. Afterwards, the tilt meter started rising again and also his equity graph started rising again. Seeing those correlations can be a real eye opener and can give you some aha moments once you realize that making good trading decisions and realizing profits in your trading often go hand in hand. Once you have improved your discipline and patience with the tilt meter challenge, it's time to optimize your winning trades. A lot of traders struggle with letting winners run and many traders often leave money on the table by cutting winning trades short. Back in Edgewonk, you open your chart lab and then you go to your trade management area. The trade management area in Edgewonk analyzes how well you are able to let your winning trades run and if you are able to cut your losses effectively. We want to focus on the actual performance line and the potential performance line. The actual performance line here in blue show your current actual trading results in terms of R multiple. The green line shows your potential trading performance, how much money you could have made if you have followed your trading rules. In the beginning, up until trade number 40, the actual performance is below the potential performance. This is not a good sign because it shows that potentially the trader could have made more money. Whenever you see that your potential performance is above your actual performance, that's a sign for further investigation. Most of the time it means that the trader cut his winning trade short. We can hover over the line graph here and what we'll see is that the actual performance of this trade is 73 but the potential performance is 113. So the trader did manage the trade optimally. Let's click on this data point and it brings up this trade. What we see is that it's a long trade. The trade entry was at 831. The exit was at 867, but the take profit was at 870 points. So the trader exited the trade ahead of the take profit. This is not always a bad trading decision. But when we go now to our advanced trade data, we see that the trader ticked the field for OTP hit with yes. This means that the original take profit, which stands for OTP, has been hit. So if the trader would have let the trade run a little bit longer, the price would have made it to his take profit target. And this is what the trade management graph does for each of your trades. It analyzes the efficiency of your trade management. In the second part of this graph, the trader has significantly improved his trade management and now the actual performance is above the potential performance. You always want to see that your actual performance is above your green performance. 
However, if this is not the case, this isn't bad news because it can show you that there's more potential for your trading. And it can also give you confidence once you realize that just by following your trading rules and believing in your initial take profit target, you could have made more money. And then the trader has to stop interfering with the trades, let the price action play out and stick to his initial trading plan. Now you have developed discipline and patience and you learned how to get the most out of your winning trades. The next and final step is to gain control over your risk management. Many traders experience large losses and single trades often wipe out weeks or even months of trading profits. So you really need to learn how to manage your risk effectively. Back in your Edgewong chart lab, we now go to our risk distribution graph. And this graph shows you a distribution of all of your trades for the return that they have realized. When it comes to performance analysis, it always pays off to look for outliers, especially negative outliers. Here we have one trade with a loss between minus 8 and minus 7.75%. And next to it, we have another significant loss with a loss of minus 7.75 or minus 7.5. Here in the bottom right, we see the average return on losing trades. And on average, this trader has a losing trade of minus 0.92%. So this shows us that those two trades each are seven or eight times larger than an average loss for the trader. So something must have really gone wrong here. You can analyze those trades. When we go back to our journal, open the basic filters, go to your return filter, and then we can activate the filter for the intervals that we have seen in the risk distribution graph. And here are those large outliers. We could open the trades, go to our advanced trade data. We can look at the exit comments. If there were screenshots attached, we can look at them as well here under the screenshot tab. And then we can further drill down and analyze what went wrong here. It always pays off to attach notes to your trades, especially on such outlier trades, so that later when you come back, you can really understand what you were doing and thinking at that time. Writing down notes and thoughts about a trade is also a great way to relive the trade. And that way you can often process your information much better and you will learn the lessons much quicker as well. Next, you could also go to your trade analytics and you can analyze your trade setups. And this gives you a breakdown of all of your trading strategies that you have used in your Edgewong trading journal. We want to look for outliers again. And what we could do is we look at the average PL and we could also look at the sum of the gains. We have a few outliers here. For example, the spike trades have an average PL of minus 102 and a total loss of minus 1026 US dollars. Same is true for the pin bar. Here we have an even larger loss of minus 191 and a total loss of 1720 US dollar. Looking at the total gain of this trader, he only realized a gain of 2963. So by avoiding limiting or reducing the losses here for those two setups, the trader can significantly improve his trading performance overall. Looking for outliers and then trying to fix your outliers in your trading is often the best way to go about in your trading performance analysis. The reason being is that by just changing a few parameters, improving your processes or trying to avoid certain trades, you will often be able to significantly improve your trading performance. Don't get lost in the nitty gritty, but look for those outliers that really stand out and that offer the biggest room for potential improvements. And those are the three fundamental concepts you must master to unlock your trading potential. As we said in the beginning, they aren't just shortcuts, they are timeless principles and mindset shifts that will guide you towards consistent profits. Now you can head over to edgewong.com and start your journaling process today.